Okay, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Higher Mathematics. Really interesting exponential equation today. We have 27 to the x minus 3 to the x all over 9 to the x minus 3 to the x equal to equal to 82. So a really interesting exponential equation and I will solve it here in just two minutes. So I hope you will enjoy this video. First of all, x is not equal to zero because right here we have a denominator. So with zero, we have one minus one, which is really bad. We don't need it. So x is not equal to, is not equal to zero. This is our first step. Second step, we need to know that in mass it's really great to work with, with the same bases, okay? So right here we have all different bases, yeah, no, right here we have the same base, 3, but right here 27 and 9, this is not good, we have not the same base, and now we need to create, we need to try to create these same bases, because 27 equal to 3 cube and 9 equal to 3 square. So let's use this logic right here and let's write it. So instead of 27 we write 3 cube, 3 cube to the power x, minus 3 to the x all over 9 to the x this is 3 square to the power x and minus 3 to the power x equal to 82 so i hope you understand this step i just write it uh, right here as 3 cube and this as 3 square right now we need to know a really great rule uh, because uh, if we have something like that if we have a to the power x raised to the power y we write we rate this we multiply it as a to the power x times y so we just need to multiply this these uh, values. So we have 3 to the power 3x minus 3 to the power x all over 3 to the power 3 to the power 2x minus 3 to the power x minus 3 to the power x equal to 82. Okay, brilliant. Let's go to the next step. So right here, this is our first step. This is our second step right here. Let's go to the third step third and really interesting step. Right here we have 3 to the power 3x, so we have like 3 to the power x three times. And right here we have only one time 3 to the power x, so we can easily factor 3 to the power x. And in parentheses we will have not 3x, but 2x, so we have 3 to the power 2x minus, minus 1, yeah, because we factored this 3 to the x all over, we have 3 to the power 2x minus 3 to the x, we, we do the same thing, we factor 3 to the power x, and in parentheses we have 3 to the power x minus 1, so we, we take away this one and we have only uh, 1 from this two, so we have 3 to the power x minus 1. So right here, really interesting moment because we uh, cancel this uh, 3 to the x, right here and right here, of course equal to 82, don't forget about it, and yeah, brilliant. After this third step, we just cancel this 3 to the power x, which is which is really good for us. Okay, let's go to the next step. A really interesting and tricky moment, because right here we have 3 to the power 2x minus 1, right here 3 to the power x minus 1, so on the first side it looks like this is the same expression, we can cancel this, but if we look closely we have right here 2 to the 2x, so it's not the same expression, absolutely. And now, if we look closely to this expression in our numerator, we have 3 to the power 2x, so it looks like we have 3 to the power x square, okay? So we have something like that, we have 3 to the power x square. Yeah, we can write it in this way. And right now, let's write this one as one square, minus one square. And if you look closely, we have something like a square minus b square. So we have difference of squares and of course we have our denominator, so we have 3 to the x minus 1. Okay, equal to equal to 82. Okay, right here let's apply our formula. We have a square minus b square from school. You need to know that this is equal to a minus b or a plus b at first, doesn't matter, and a plus b in our second parenthesis. Okay, let's apply this formula right here, a square minus b square, we have our expression, so we have like 3 to the x, 3 to the x uh, minus 1, and 3 to the x plus 1. Okay, 3 to the x plus 1, uh, our denominator we have 3 to the x minus 1, equal to 82. 82, and let's look at it, 3 to the x minus 1, 3 to the x minus 1, you can easily cancel this expression, and we have only 3 to the x plus 1 equal to 82. Brilliant, let's look at it. So, let's look at it, so we have 3 to the power x plus 1 equal to 82. And uh, bring this one on the right hand side, so we have 3 to the power x equal to 81, obviously, and x equal to x equal to 4. This is our solution because 3 to the 4 is equal to 81. Yeah? So this is our answer. I hope you understand the explanation. I hope you learned something new and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you're not hard to you, please support me with a like and with a comment. It really helps to improve my channel and to make my channel alive, which is really important for me. So thank you for your time and have a great day. I wish you all the best and see you in the next videos.